Hello and welcome to a new video about automation systems. This time we're talking about a process control system. We want to look into what a process control system consists of. I will just give a short explanation what the, the uh, parts are and then we'll see what we understand under these parts and how they are interconnected to each other. So, today we are going to talk about process control system. Control systems. Process control system usually consists of some parts, some different parts. We had this automation pyramid. I'm not sure if you remember. However, I'm pretty sure you have seen quite you have seen it quite some, some time, huh? this one, huh? if you remember. So there is the field level. Huh? The field level with all the actuators and stuff. Huh? So here, here we have measurements, here we have actuators, here we have all this other stuff. Yeah? measurements, actuators, pipes, sensors, pa, 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 pa. that's the field. This is what actually is doing the job. Yeah? All those actuators, all those actuators are valves, are, are different things, simply how to influence the, the process. Yeah? And this needs to be controlled in a certain way. Okay? And this control is done very close here with different stations, smaller stations, bigger stations, whatever. These stations are called field control stations. Okay? Field control stations. Field control stations. I always forget to write this T. So the field control station, or oh, FCS. In German, this is called uh, Prozessnahe Komponenten. BNK. Field control station. So each of these field control stations do have some measurements, yeah, does have influence maybe. Yeah. It all they all have their own task in the field at different locations in the field. They are built into cabinets, yeah, electrical cabinets. In the field. So they are distributed somewhere. Yeah? Field control stations. Hmm, control stations, these are usually PLCs or something like this. Yeah? PLCs, they are. Yeah? Then there also might be remote IO stations or whatever. They yeah, field control stations. So they, that their task is very limited. Look at your part, yeah? automate this part. Yeah? And then there are operator and, conitor, uh, operator and, and monitoring systems. Okay. So above this, hmm, can be one or more operator control, operator control and monitoring system. Operator control and monitoring system. Things usually are inside there. This is the SCADA. 
Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Systems, yeah, or also the OPC stuff, yeah, Open Platform Communication. Yeah. Usually these things also have some, some visualization. It's visualizing the what is going on in the process. Yeah. It's visualizing. So there's also HMI interface here. Yeah. Some pictograms, some some layout, yeah, some flow chart or something like this, how the process enters with the actual values written inside. This is how this looks like. Yeah. And those operate and control and, and uh, monitoring stations, they are connected to the field control stations via bus system. Yeah. So here in between there is somewhere a bus system. How this bus might look like we are also going to talk because there are different possibilities. There is the bus system. Huh? They're communicating. They're com communicating with the bus system to each other. Huh? And then there might also be a so-called engineering station, huh? also connected usually to the bus system, so it can communicate with all the other elements in the system, engineering station, ES. Engineering station. Here we can influence our, our control system. Here we can program it. programming of the control system. Okay. From the other terminals and from the other stuff, this is simply not possible to change the control system. Here we could change the software engineering station. Okay. Those things are usually somewhere uh, where the operating manual or the operating personnel is located. Yeah? They're sitting in a control room. This stuff is usually located in a control room. Maybe there are more control rooms than one. Yeah? Distributed control rooms. Uh, uh, this stuff is distributed in the field. This is more centralized. Yeah? And the engineering station, usually there is maybe one or two somewhere. Yeah? Less than, than these this monitoring stations. Okay, so these are the things a process control system consists of. So what do we always have or what do we usually have? Usually such monitoring control system consists of this, this FCS, field control stations. Then there is an alarming system. usually built in here, yeah. Then there is visualizing. Visualize, so with, I just said it, yeah, with symbols, flow charts, something like this, show the process and the actual situation of the process. However, there might also be then line recorders. Uh, these are pretty, pretty often the case that if there are analog values and so on, you can watch a trend or something like this. Yeah? Line recorders, uh, chart recorders, line writers. Then usually also part of this is some user administration. So not, not that everybody who is some, have access, physical access to the, to the monitoring station can do something. Yeah? So there is user administration usually. usually. And of course, one engineering station. This is also pretty much in every control system. Yeah? It's a bigger control system, you have an engineering station on site. Yeah? Then, th th this is the stuff which pretty much is always there. Yeah? Then, there might also be something like 
uh, a batch system. Yeah? If you have a process which can produce different things, yeah? if you maybe have a process and do different dugs yeah, for different type of breads or something like this, you have different receipts, but you can mix it with the same. You need another amount of flour, you need another amount of, I don't know, salt and sugar and spices and whatever is inside shot spread. Yeah? And you do this dog, and then you do this dog, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah? So there might be batch system for receipts. This is not always there. Yeah? Usually for con process control system companies, you can buy it. Yeah? Because, but you don't need it all the time. Yeah? If you have a process which is always the same, you don't need receipts. Yeah? You don't need to change something. Yeah? Then a uh, routing system for transport, if there are a different, you know, at the, at the, for instance, at the, at the airport. Yeah? You have to route this suitcase to another terminal than this suitcase, so routing systems. Yeah? For transport path. Uh, diagnose tools are also available usually. technical diagnose. So is my process still within a certain range? Yeah. Is maybe some wear at the valve or something like this? Yeah. Look at the process, see if it's maybe changing over time, even with the same positions of some actuators or not, and then maybe you can diagnose, make a technical diagnosis, if you have to shut it down for doing maintenance or something like this, or clean something. Yeah. This is also a module, a possible module of process control systems. Which is used very often, what is used very often is a data interface. Interface, this is an E, uh, data interface. Uh, so somewhere a data interface which can go to a higher level. Uh, we said it's it's not ended here. Yeah? Yeah, maybe maybe we have an enterprise control. Oh, in between, maybe also some layers. Yeah? Then we need some data interface to communicate. Mm -hmm. And often there is also a solution somewhere here. Yeah? Maybe also directly connected. Yeah? That we have here. Data storage. Hmm? Data storage. Secure data. Secure data storage. Hmm? This might also be a module which I can add to my control system that I'm sure my data is stored safely, secure, somewhere in a proper place and will last for eternity or until I delete it, and not somewhere on a SD disk, <laughs> a USB drive, flash drive, it's not a good idea. These are the parts a process control system consists of. So field control stations, operating control and monitoring system, PLC, something like this, maybe our remote IOs of, of this stuff. Yeah? There's a SCADA system, there's visualization, there's data storage, and there's usually also some engineering station where I can influence the software or change my, my process control system. Okay? Next time, we will again dig into, into the history, this time of this process control system, not from this general point of view of an automated system, we'll look into the history of process control system, how this was developing. It's somehow similar to the video before, yeah? but we will look into this process control system and see what things popped up when. Okay? 
for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.